I grew up in the Caribbean, in Trinidad and Tobago, and it's a very beautiful place. So I always had an appreciation for our natural resources. When I moved to California and started studying chemistry, I always remembered that our resources are to be protected. So the mission of CG Roxanne really aligned with my own personal interest. My name is Fade Kemi Omobo, but I go by Kemi, as in chemistry. My background is in chemistry, but I've always had an interest in consumer goods. In our day-to-day -day lives, we use a lot of different products. So I've always been curious about what does it take to get a safe, quality product onto the market. I lead the quality team here at San Bernardino, and our primary job is to test all of our finished products before we ship it to our bottling sites in Shasta and Olancho. We basically take old bottles and make it into new bottles. So we start with clean RPET flakes, we reprocess it into the RPET pellets, and then we send it to our bottling plants and they can incorporate it into our bottled water. This is the first recycling facility in the company. So in 2018 when I joined, it was effectively a startup and we got our manufacturing line some months after that. So in 2019 is when we started producing our RPET pellets. So let's say you went to a recycling center. You have these shredded plastics, like plastic cornflakes. That's our raw material. So this is what we call our pet recycle PET flakes. It's the bottles that have already been cleaned, cut up, and so we buy clean plastic flakes. This is what we call virgin PET. This is different from recycle PET because this is not made from bottles. So this is our finished product. This is Recycle PET pellets. So this is what we produce here on site. We send this to our sister bottling plants and they mix this with the Virgin PET to make our preforms, which become bottles. Virgin PET plus Recycle PET equals the 50% recycle content. So our manufacturing process is FDA approved. In the lab, we do different physical and chemical analyses. So we're looking at the color. We're also looking at the viscosity. We want to make sure that the material is going to be strong enough. We're also looking at some chemical testing just to make sure that we meet the specifications that we've set forth. At the start of the line is where those plastic flakes go through some more cleaning processes and decontamination and then when you're cooling down the plastic you can cut it and ultimately at the end you're going to see pellets coming out into a big bag and that's our finished product. Our whole mission is to use our resources efficiently, maximize the use of it, minimize our effect on the environment. So it just made sense that we would incorporate Recycle PET into our product. Right now, we are at 50% our pet incorporation within our bottles. So at this facility, we have a lot of different efforts to use our resources as best as we could and minimize any environmental impact. So we have skylights, first of all. They do reduce our energy consumption. We don't have to have our lights on all the time. And we're also investing in some solar panels on the roof of this warehouse, so that's also going to cut down on our power consumption. We want to make sure that our product is sustainable, that we close that loop. So we have solar, we have recycled content, and they all fit in line with our mission. You know, we take an old bottle, make it into a new bottle. That's a very simple statement, but there's a lot of work that goes into it. So when you go to the store and you buy our Crystal Geyser Alpine Spring Water, you're making a smart choice by buying a product that has recycled PET plastic in it, and an even smarter choice when you recycle it, because by recycling, you also help us to fulfill our commitment, and you get to be a part of fulfilling that mission.